everyone! I hope you're still well and safe. Um, welcome to the Dose of Bliss with Mix and Luis! Hello everyone! Hi Luis! Hi Mix! Just, Kamusta? You know, I just want to share with you a good news. Um, yes. Our previous live recording, How to Become a Better Communicator, was really well received by our audience. Wow! So thank you so much, Luis, and thank you so much. Yeah, and I'm so happy about it. And salamat, salamat for continuously supporting us, especially during our previous episode. Yes, as mentioned to you uh, now, um, we're really taking the time to add value, to contribute to as many people as we can. So here's our new episode. We're back yeah. for another episode. And with this new episode, of course, we want to make sure, Luis, that we're not just of value to people, but this is something that, you know, people can really apply right away. Na ang pinaka main objective ko of doing this really is to make sure. Sabi ko to sa kanina before this live, no? Na, Luis, ano kaya yung pwede nating pag-usapan na kung saan after they actually watch or after they actually listen to our recordings or our live video, automatically, this is something that they can apply right away. And so, marami tayong napag-usapan but I love your idea. I love what you sent a while ago and uh, would you mind sharing to the viewers, view, uh, sharing to the listeners, ano yung sinabi mo sa akin? Yeah, I know. Uh, thank you for that mix. No, I know a lot of people uh, right now are actually, you know, uh, struggling in terms of finances at the moment because of what happened. Uh, because of this enhanced community quarantine, a lot of people are not able to go to work. Some people I know on nasa no work, no pay basis sila ngayon and because a lot of establishments are closed, wala silang salary ngayon. So maybe for this session, we want to help you, we want to add value to, to you by sharing with you budgeting tips. Ayun, budgeting for this tips. lockdown or ECQ season that we have right now, paano nga ba? Paano nga ba ang right budgeting tips? Ano yung pwede namin ma-share sa inyo for today? Especially right now, no? I love what you said around budgeting tips simply because especially during our season ngayon, um, I mean, di ba, you've heard a lot of news, maybe, Luis, or meron ka nababasa sa mga Facebook feed mo na hindi natin alam whether or not by next week we're done with the quad. Right. Of course, we don't want it. Of course, hindi natin to gusto. Pero we don't know. Eh. Maybe mamaya, mag announcement to mamaya, giving us up an update around um, the situation. And we don't know next week na ba talaga or are we gonna be extending? Right, right. I agree, no? Kasi um, I've been reading some articles na according to the doctors, uh, researchers, hindi pa masabi eh, if uh, we're able to lift already eh. but just in case just in case lang naman hindi pa tayo makabalik sa normal uh, maybe this budgeting tips that, that we'd like to share with you may be helpful to you for the next coming weeks or months uh, we don't know so ano uh, let's start mix yeah what are certain tips that you can give Luis around budgeting, especially during this season? Number one, Luis. Okay, let me start. First and foremost, of course, now that um, income is limited, uh, source of income is limited. Um, right now, maybe for some of us, uh, walam cash flow. So we're just depending on the money on our banks. So my suggestion right now is really just spend on necessary things. Okay. Ano ibig sabi nito? Needs. Spend on needs for now. If you don't have um extra money right now, tis tis mo na tayo sa mga needs. Ano ano ibig sabi ng needs? First and foremost, of course, pagkain. Food. We need to eat, de ba? Rather than spending it on um, makeup. <laughs> Meron pa ba this time? Hindi ko alam. We don't know. Rather than spending it on makeup or maybe rather than spending it to 
uh, junk foods na lang. For example, di ba, usog-uso yung mga cravings, no? Uh, for example, gusto mo ng milk tea, pero you know na yung savings mo hindi naman naabot. Let's just spend mo na our savings on our lunch, dinner, instead kesa dun sa mga cravings natin, di ba? Iwasan muna natin yung mga ganyan. And also, um, spend uh, things on necessary, meaning uh, let's take advantage of those na mga may grace period. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Let's just not pay muna our credit cards. Okay. I just wanna qualify that, no? I just wanna put context into it. Mm -hmm. Na, again, um, when we say take advantage of grace periods, ulitin ko lang, no? We're not saying na, and I'm not saying also that you don't pay your credit cards. Yeah. Alright? I'm not saying na wag mong bayaran yung credit cards mo, wag mong bayaran yung bills mo, kasi bills pa rin yan. I just wanna put a uh, context around this simply because um, technically, okay, ang mga binibigay ng kumpanya tungkol dito at ang mga binibigay ng mga institutions around this is the uh, moratorium, okay, or ano ba yung moratorium, basically tinatanggal, okay, yung penalty. Yeah. Alright? Tinatanggal uh -oh. lang yung penalty for late payment. So, hindi po tinatanggal In ng interest, companies, no? yes, hindi po tinatanggal ng companies yung actual bill. So, yung bill mo, bill mo pa rin yan. Oo naman. Babayaran mo pa rin yan. It's just that, tinatanggal lang nila yung late payment charges or yung penalties around it. No? Which means, um, I like what you said, Luis. Gusto ko yung sinabi mo na one of the things that you can focus on necessities first is really being able to take advantage of multi-grace periods that these companies are giving. Yes, companies such as Bills, you know, Globe, uh, Luis, kung naalala mo, no? Globe, PLDT, if I'm not mistaken, um, Ayala also. Halos lahat eh. Almost everyone, uh, almost every company, talagang nag ano sila, um, they're giving extension of 30 to 90 days. Yeah. Okay? Grace period, that's something that you can actually avail and take advantage of. Kaya yan binigay ng company is for you. So make sure you take advantage of it by what? By not paying muna. Okay? Yes, the term is muna. <laughs> yes, not paying yet. Okay, so you can focus on your necessities, your food. Alright? And then afterwards, then dun ka na lang mag-focus sa mga bayarin mo kapag meron kang cash flow that is enough more than your necessities. Agree. Yeah, kasi syempre, mas importante na mong kumain kaysa magbayad ng credit cards, di ba? I'm sure uh, that's the reason why credit card companies or billers are giving us an extension because we know, because they know rather, the situation right now that we have. Yeah. So, spend on necessary things muna. However, okay, just to put again, ulitin ko lang, uh, however, uh, the reason kung bakit nila yung ginagawa is just to support us during this season, okay, Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, gagawin mo na siya after this season. Okay? Uh, bakit ko to sinabi? Kasi yung sa bills, madali yan eh. Diba? Kailangan talaga magbayad on time. Pero kasi majority of people na nakikinig sa atin, Luis, no? uh, for example, credit card, talagang ayaw nilang magbayad uh, during the due. Okay? So, my suggestion, you still pay your credit cards. Di lang muna for now. Okay, pero after this season, go back to paying your credit cards kasi masakit talaga yung interest niya. Yeah. Definitely, no. Ngayon season lang naman. Now that maybe your cash flows are on pause, naka dahil nga walang work ngayon, or maybe some of us, alam ko, there are people who are receiving half lang eh. Mm -hmm. Half of their salary lang eh. Kasi uh, they're not, kumbaga yung type of work that they have, hindi siya feasible online. So, half lang yung binibigay sa mm -hmm. kanilang salary ngayon. So, just for now, maybe prioritize your health, your basic needs, because that's important for you. Alright. So, recap lang tayo sa Glet Luis, no? Um, just before we proceed, number one, necessities first. Mm -hmm. uh, food muna, based from what you said. Number two is to really take advantage of the grace period. Tama ba yun? Yes! Alright. Number three, Luis. 
Number three is uh, this is actually an opportunity for you to communicate to your family. Alright. Diba? Ano yung mga um, pag-uusapan? Um, especially for breadwinners. For mm -hmm. breadwinners ngayon, uh, maybe this is the time na you communicate to your family in terms of the budget. Especially those who are with kids. Mm -hmm. I know, diba? Yung mga kids, sometimes gusto pa rin nila bumili ng mga junk foods. True. Maybe gusto pa rin nila bumili ng Jollibee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that we have limited budget, it's important that our family knows where we are right now. And maybe it's uh, also maganda rin na maintindihan nila yung situation natin ngayon. Kasi kung hindi natin i-communicate, if we don't communicate this matter, mm -hmm. I'm sure that they will be expecting, di ba? True. Um, I love you say about that. True, true, true. Agree. Ang um, actually gusto ko ang idagdag doon is learn to say no when necessary. Yeah. Uh, Without guilt. Yeah, true. Kasi di ba, syempre, I mean, we're not discounting na mahal mo yung pamilya mo. We're not discounting that, you know, gusto mong pasayahin yung mga mahal mo sa buhay. But then again, let's just speak first in terms of capacity. Okay, practicality muna for now. Kasi nga, we are in a very unique situation. Okay, and then just plan out whatever you want to make your family happy, maybe in the future. So, ibig sabihin, part of it really is to learn to say no, especially kung uh, usually na tatanggap ko to, not really with parents, pero if you are a breadwinner, tapos binubuhay mo yung family mo, maybe binubuhay mo yung magulang mo, yeah. binubuhay mo yung relatives mo, ba sila yung Luis, if I'm not, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, no? Pero I, maybe meron kang kakilalang ganito, na sila yung mas nahihiyang humindi, eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi syempre, sila yung may utang na loob, okay? Quote, unquote, yeah. may utang na loob, may, um, parang merong certain level of privilege. Therefore, um, One of our suggestion is kung hindi naman kaya magno muna, uh, iusap ng maayos. Right. Ang pinaka importante for you guys right now is your basic food. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I say basic food, ito yung mga nutritious meals. Okay, hindi pa muna kasama yung kailangan magpapa-deliver ka ng milk tea or ng coffee, whatever. Mag 3 in 1 ka muna kung kailangan or mag brew coffee ka muna kung kailangan kasi yung pinaka importante is actually your necessity. And make sure you communicate that with everyone in your household. Again, everyone in your household without guilt, number one. And number two, by making sure they understand it para walang samaan ng loob. Yeah, oo. Um, and at the same time, no, this is a good time to teach the children in terms of finances and making them understand uh, the importance of budgeting. True. Ano nga ba yung mga important things that really matter for now. Right. Diba? So, necessities first, taking advantage of grace period, um, communicating with your family, and I just want to share this. This is the number fourth. Uh, allow me, Luis, no? Yeah, go ahead. Is that for you to make financial planning a priority after this lockdown period. Alright? Bakit to importante, Luis? I just want to share this. Simply because, The reason kung bakit tayo mayroong budgeting tips during lockdown is because of non-preparation before the lockdown period. Agree. Kasi if every family, every Filipino right now, every person na nakikinig sa atin ngayon at nanonood ngayon, ay nakapag-prepare ka before this enhanced community quarantine, nakapag-prepare ka before this lockdown, Uh, yung mga taong nagsasabi sa'yo tungkol sa financial planning, financial management, in-entertain mo, nakinig ka sa kanila, then maybe hindi mo siya problema ngayon. Maybe meron kang 3 to 6 months of emergency funds. Mm -hmm. Katulad ng sinasabi nila in the past. Or maybe meron kang securities for hospitalization that will, not, uh, that will make you not worry in terms of money in, in case of something as medical whatever happens. Okay? All of these things na gustong ipagpausap ng inyong financial planner, financial advisor, yeah. okay, financial uh, consultant, sana we are already aware and responsible around it if we have done this before the lockdown and sana less yung worry natin ngayon. What's your take on that, Louise? Yeah, I agree, no? Na, and I hope also that this is a learning opportunity for a lot of people 
na they get to realize now the importance of financial planning. No, a lot of and dami ng uh, financial uh, planners ngayon, financial advisors, financial consultants nationwide. And I hope people will really get uh, to take advantage of those people reaching out to them. Because I hope nakita na ngayon nila yung importance ng proper financial planning. True. Diba? Imagine if, um, hindi, imagine lang. For example, that this will last for six months. Ano mangyayari without proper financial planning? Agree. Diba? So, I hope people will, will really learn from this experience that this will be a learning experience for all of us to really take financial planning seriously. Yeah. Na hindi na natin i-take for granted yung finances na we'll just spend Pag Wala nakakuha, namang mangyayari sa akin masama. Yeah, na pag nakakuha yung salary, spend. Tapos, um, kumbaga, payslip na lang nangyayari, no? Uh, to really prepare in the future. Kasi we don't know what's next for us, eh. Ito yung sinasabi natin lagi, di ba, na unforeseen events. True. Uh, circumstances na hindi natin masasabi. Sino ba naman makakapagsabi na darating tayo sa gantong stage na... No like, country... Down. No country even prepared, eh, di ba? Right, diba? So, ibig sabihin, kung country nga, hindi nakapag-prepare tayo pa kayang normal na tao lang, no? And I love what you said, Luis, kasi now, syempre sa people, kasi tatanungin tayo, eh, ang itatanong nila sa atin, hindi kasi yung iba binibentahan lang ako, um, they're just offering me products, they're not even really helping me, then maybe that's your what? That's your filter, that's your exam, that's your test to test your financial planners whether are they really supporting you. Mm -hmm. Or are they really just selling you products? Because the only way for you to um, have an open mind around this and to learn this is to really go with your financial planners, advisors, make it a priority. And then if binentahan ka lang niya, then maybe cross mo tong taon to sa listahan mo. Kasi hindi ka niya kinuruan magplano ng pera kung hindi talagang binentahan ka lang. Ngayon, kung sinuportahan ka naman talaga niya about financial planning, then that's something maybe that you might want to consider knowing that this is really, really, really important at this time. Yeah, and uh, maybe check rin naman. At the end of the day, it's all about um, the intention of the person. True. And I think um, maybe choose a financial planner or advisor na tinatrust mo. And then from na there, bagay sayo. Yeah, you just have to look for that person na match sa'yo mm -hmm. and that you really can trust. But uh, at the end of the day, hindi mo yun malalaman if you're uh, not trying. Wala namang masama sa pag-try, eh, diba? Or closed-minded ka. Ayaw mong kausapin, ayaw mong pakinggan. Yeah, spend 10 minutes, even 20 minutes maybe, just to explore out. Um, wala namang masama sa exploration. Hindi ka naman bibilis exploration. But really, make financial planning a priority after this period. Alright? So again, recap lang tayo for today. Thank you so much, Luis. What's number one? Number one, spend only on necessary things like basic necessities, big food. Yeah, most important is food talaga. Alright, number two? Number two is take advantage of the grace period that the pillars, the banks are giving us. Mm -hmm. Number three? Number three is communicate to your family, to your extended family, your current situation. Be open. Learn how to say no if hindi na kaya. And last but not the least, number four. Make financial planning a priority after this enhanced community quarantine season. Alright, so again, if you have questions around, the, around that, just comment down below. Or maybe message us in our pages. You know where to find us. We're gonna post it here. Okay? Ask your questions. Maybe um, give your opinions. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to learn from you as well. Uh, but hopefully with these four steps, you're able to what? Budget, budget, budget during this season. Any last words, Luis? Thank you so much, everyone. And good. I hope you're, everyone is safe and well at the end of the day. Your priority right now is your safety, your health, and of course, your basic needs. Nyo. Yung pagkain talaga. Lagi kong sinasabi. <laughs> Alright, thank and you everyone. Wait lang, please. Wait lang. Don't forget.
to always have your dose of bliss with Mids and Louis.